Hello everybody, this is Ice. Welcome back to the explanation video for my portal guns in Minecraft. Now before I start, I just want to thank everybody for all the feedback there. That got 750 views in like two days. And for my channel, one with 300 subs, that's slightly insane. And also, again, I'd like to make this a 300 subscriber special, so please do enjoy. Now before we go in depth about any of the redstone, we're going to talk about probably the most, the simplest part of the thing, but it had the most controversy on Reddit and on uh, YouTube, and even over other places too, about how it would work. But we're going to go into our default resource pack and take away portal guns essentials, and now we will see some of the method behind the madness. Right here. If we have a look, our portal gun is a brick. Very nice. Um, the portals themselves are made up of stained clay blocks, which just happened to be the first blocks I saw that nobody would really use in a portal type build. Next, every portalable surface is nothing more than a lever. You turn down the lever and it will set block back and give you a little portal. Again, this doesn't really look like a portal right now, but the portal is simply for aesthetics. Now if we head back back behind all this, and that's not really what we wanted to do, is it? If we head back behind all this, we'll see a single command block behind each lever. So next, let's talk about that whole system. Now these command blocks that just so happen to be on every surface, or portable surface, are actually extraordinarily simple. Each one basically just sets a certain objective for the player to want. If you don't understand that, well, you should, because it's fairly simple. And that's how the portals work fundamentally. That's how the input gets to the system, and all that good stuff. So now let's have a look at the redstone behind it. Look at all that command block stuff. Now, I will assure you that this is far less complex than it looks, so we're going to delve right in and figure out how it does work. Now at the front here, we have a clock. This is the actual layer that causes the functionality, but we'll talk about that last. First of all, we're going to talk about all this stuff down here, because it's really less complex than it looks. First of all, we have this these command blocks down here. Now, these command blocks will test for a player with these objectives. So, for instance, when we enable this command block, which is the score of P3, this command block here will activate because our player will now have a score of P3, or a score of 1 for the objective P3. Now, the first thing that happens here is this comparator will turn on, and the first thing that happens then is the lever is turned back off using a set block command. Very simple. The next step is that the portal is created through these command blocks here, simply setting them to stained clay that corresponds to the portal. After this, we have a little mo after this, our signal goes into a little monostable circuit, which does a few things. The first thing it does is go down onto these command blocks here. Now these will reset all of the player's scores. And that might be a bit weird at first, but this will reset all of the scores, including the one excuse me for the rain, it's Stupid. But yeah, it will clear all scores, including the one that you just got. So, that's kind of strange. But then we're just going to come down here and onto this gigantic line of command blocks. And what this will do is it will set all of the portals to iron again. It will make the portals disappear. Now also, just for effect, I did add a little portal Enderman sound, which is pretty cool. So now there's nothing. No portals, no scores activated, none of it. It's all gone now, and there is a pulse in this repeater, though, so that's what we'll talk about next. This will reset your specific score of this score here, of the score mentioned by the command block back here. This will set that specific score to 1 again. Then, down here, this will create that same portal again. This is kind of a cheesy way to do the whole recreating the portal thing, but it does create a kind of nice flickering effect, which I actually like and advertise as a feature. So, there's that, and that's basically how all of the aesthetics work. One of these comparators will be on at all times when the portal is activated. Right now, this one is, because apparently we have location and score 6. So now that we know exactly how the functionality works for all of these command blocks, and just a quick note, this, this set of command blocks here is also here on the same side. This just set, resets all the scores as well. Now up here, 
we have this clock going into the top layer. Now this is the layer that causes the functionality, and you'll notice that we have a comparator here ra rather than a repeater. Repeater here will cause huge amounts of lag, so, you know, whatever. Now, this gigantic set of command blocks connected to this wire is actually pretty self-explanatory. It does create the actual functionality of the portals, but it's probably the simplest part of the whole design. Now, each command block, each one of these corresponds to a possible teleport. Let me give you an example. For instance, for right now, two of these command blocks are actually working, are actually testing for a player at locations. The one, that te the one that's going to TPU to there, and the one that's going to TPU to there from here, because that's where the two portals are. And I'll show you how that works using the command blocks in a moment here. Over here, as you can see, we have a fairly long command. I hand wrote all of these commands, so thumbs up for all that tedious and hard work. I was tweeting about it. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty bad, but now it's good. And basically, each one will simply teleport a player at a certain position. This is the location of the portal. And then also with a certain score. So for instance, this means that your portal location is at 1. Then, over here, we will simply get a little command, or a little set of coordinates to teleport them to. And that's how all 24 of these command blocks actually come together. Actually, 26, because floor portals require two blocks. But that's how all these 26 command blocks actually work together and create that awesome portal gun effect. Well, there you go, guys. That is all it takes to create working portal guns in vanilla Minecraft. And it really wasn't that hard. It only took 10 minutes to explain. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of complicated, but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, please hit those ever-so-tasty like and subscribe buttons, because, you know, they're tasty. And that's about that. As always, of course, well, bye now. And look forward to the download and texture pack download in the description. I will see you all later.